Hello, I am Deborah Campbell, your city manager. First, I want to say thank you for making the time and having the courage to join us on this journey of reimagining public safety in the city of Asheville. This is critical work, and this round of community conversations is only the beginning. To assist us in having these conversations, we have solicited the help of trained facilitators. They will introduce themselves shortly. We will use the input you share with us today to make the first round of budget recommendations regarding department responsibilities and community partnerships. These initial changes will be reflected in budget recommendations that will be presented to City Council on September 22nd. Before you all get started, I'd like to share some information that I hope will lay a helpful foundation for this engagement. You, the people, elect City Council. Council adopts, based on public input, the vision and policies that reflect the values, dreams, hopes, and aspirations of the type of community we aspire to be. Council also adopts an annual budget that sets priorities for what the organization can accomplish within a given year. As your city manager, I am responsible for managing how city staff implements council policy and achieves the vision through the services we, as a city, are legally responsible to deliver. The city's duties and responsibilities are principally governed through the city's charter, but we also have to adhere to state and federal laws. You might be asking why this matters. We hear the concerns that current service delivery models, especially related to law enforcement and policing, do more harm than good, especially in Black, Indigenous, and Latinx communities. As we move forward with redefining roles and responsibilities of police and other city departments and our relationships with community partners, we want to move as fast as we can without leaving anyone behind. An understanding of roles and responsibilities will help us to do this. We are at a pivotal moment in the development of our community. While I have been clear that I will not recommend defunding the police by 50%, I do want you to know we will recommend some budget adjustments if necessary as a result of these conversations. And so, we are relying on your help. As we ask for your thoughts and ideas, here are some examples of how current public safety services are delivered by the City of Asheville. Here are some examples of public safety services that involve partnerships. Here are some examples of public safety services that other county and state governments lead. With respect to the police department specifically, here are some things they are required to do by law. Here are broad categories of how their budget is allocated. You can see patrol is the largest category. Here are more details on services related to patrol. As I said before, I hope this information lays a helpful foundation for your engagement. I believe your participation will guide us to solutions we haven't yet imagined. Thank you and be well.